Hello everyone and welcome to how to get every single achievement in the game. So this is every achievement that there is um, and it's for all platforms I believe. Uh, some have different variations and I think actually Xbox doesn't have two of these achievements. But these are all the achievements that you can get on the Steam version of the game. So that's like the original version of the game. So yeah, I'll uh, be going through how to get every single achievement. So I'm going to be going in alphabetical order, so the first one is a true descender. So this is go from the highlands to the peaks in one run. So you can't die and start again in between and you can't start from the forest or the canyons or just start from the peaks at the beginning. You have to go from the highlands all the way through to the peaks to become a true descender. Ain't No Scrub is the next one, and this is a rather simple achievement, but it might take you some time, and this is to get 250,000 total rep. So if you don't know what total rep is, total rep is when you are in spawn with that statue in the middle, and the benches, the shed, and whatever else is there, that number that appears at the bottom next to the R, that is the number that you want to see, say 250,000 for that to be, for that to give you the achievement. This next one, carving a path, is rather simple. It's the same thing, but just get that to 10,000. That is your first goal. Get that to 10,000 rep, have 10,000 total rep, and that is your first achievement. Well, that is the first rep achievement that you can get. Dialed in is a rather simple one, especially for new people. So what you want to do is go from the highlands to the boss jump and do the little bonus objective that appears in the corner. Once you have done that three times, you get all those three ticks. That will give you the achievement because you unlock a shortcut to the forest. This next one, every axis, is quite simple. You can get it pretty much in the spawn now. You never used to, well you sort of could in the old spawn, but it was a lot harder. So all you have to do is a 360 front flip. Next one is flipping heck. This is a rather simple one and it probably could be done in the spawn. If not, try and go to a boss jump because that is a big jump that you can do it off of and just do a double front flip. Found your flow is the next rep achievement and it is 50,000 rep. 50,000 total rep at the bottom of your screen in spawn. Gap the market is quite a simple one but it might take you some time because you just need to get this whilst playing. It is do 10 mini boss jumps. So the ones like, especially in the highlands, like the ones where you jump over the rocks, the castle one or you have, or stonehenged and if you do those or you just go through the highlands because they're the most common and they will pop up all the time and it's quite easy to do because the highlands is quite simple. If you just do those 10 times or if you just go over them 10 times then you will have this achievement. Get some gear is the next achievement and basically it is just get 10 items in your inventory or in your shed or in your gear collection. So this is kind of simple and it's rather easy to do and a lot of people know you can do this. Just go into the highlands and then in end your run. If you end it by pausing and pressing retire you instantly get a grey item. It's the best way to get through all the grey items because you don't want them ruining your you, you're trying to get a better item and you they stop you from getting it because you get a great item instead you can literally just go in and collect all of them just by going in and exiting, exiting out. Getting dizzy is the next achievement and pretty much all you have to do is a 720 double backflip which is semi difficult because you probably can't get it in spawn but if you do well done so all you have to do is just go to a boss jump and just try it there if not try and get to the mega ramp in the forest this is quite hard to do but it will make it a lot easier for yourself next achievement into the forest is rather simple literally go from the highlands all the way to the boss jump and then just go to the next area once you're in the next area you'll get the achievement it begins is getting sponsored by a team all you have to do is see the sponsor nodes which is the three colored little pie chart go on that do them three times and you just have to do it three times and then you'll get sponsored by a team and that's all you have to do for that one to work it's getting cluttered in here will be one of those achievements that will take you some time to get because it's 25 items inside of your inventory once you have 20 25 items in your shed or in your inventory you will have this achievement Made it is quite a simple achievement but it may take you some skill to get there and it will take you some practice and will take some time. So all you have to do is go to the peaks, uh, this doesn't have to be from the highlands to the peaks, this is just go to the peaks and do the boss jump, that's all you have to do. Quite a collection is one that will also take you a bit more time so as you can guess it's get 50 items inside of your shed inventory place pretty much. 
Represent your style is the next one and all you have to do is literally complete a team node This is have a sponsor and whatever team that is then you have to do their node when you find another sponsored node This next one which is called show them who's boss is literally quite a simple one and You'll probably get it uh, without even realizing it. It's just complete a boss jump survive one boss jump That's all you have to do Demon is another simple achievement that you might not know that you got, but you probably will get it at some point. It's just go 100 kilometers an hour or 62 miles an hour. You could probably do this on the peaks without realizing it because a lot of people send it quite hard down there and they don't realize how fast they're going. Or it might just happen when you go for a boss jump. The final challenge is quite another simple one. Just get to the peaks. That's all you have to do. Get to the peaks and then you'll get this achievement. This one will either take a, you a lot of time or a lot of practice and just getting good at the game. This is the golden run. This is one of the hardest challenges or achievements to do. You literally you have to go from the highlands to the peaks and finish the boss jump without crashing a single time. As soon as you crash once, you are out. That is literally it. The achievement is locked off. So you have to go from the highlands to the peaks and not die a single time in that run. Because if you do, then it doesn't count. The Rampage Begins is quite a simple achievement, all you have to do is go get to the canyons and then you have it. The Training Was Worth It is quite a simple achievement, you'll probably get it on your first time without even realising it and that is just jump over the train, you have to actually clear it over the train. Wipeout is one that you'll probably do if you're a new player and you don't even know is that you'll lose all your lives, you'll just die, that's it. When you end a run by losing all your lives you'll get this achievement. Fire, Ring of Fire is the next achievement and literally you have to go to a fire node, complete the fire node and then go to the boss jump and make it through the hoop, the fire hoop that spawns and that's why it's called Ring of Fire. It's getting hot in here, it's quite a hard achievement to do. Uh, what you have to do is go through an entire run, you have to go through every fire node on each of the sections so you have to go through the one on the highlands the one on the canyons the one on the peaks the one on the forest i don't know why i said them out of order you then have to make sure you go through every single hoop you have to go through the hoop every time once that's done and you go through the final hoop on the boss jump at, in the peaks the bridge that you land on will set on fire This means that you have done it correctly and then you'll move on to the volcano And that is the hot that is one of the hardest achievements to do as well this next one called hot shot or Don't look down depending if you're on Xbox or if you're on PC So this is one of the achievements that you're on track for if you're already doing the previous achievement And this is go from the highlands to the volcano and complete the full game That is literally how you complete the game is go from the highlands to the volcano and finish because that will give you the credits without you clicking on it. So that is the genuine story finish. Go the extra mile is one that's actually quite difficult or one that you might not do for quite some time. It was the last achievement that I got and it's do every single bonus world. So that means you have to do the construction site in the highlands. You have to do the mega ramp in the forest. You have to do the skate park in the canyons. You have to do the moon in the peaks and you also have to do the kids room inside of the volcano and that is probably the why the most difficult one is the kids room error achievement is the one that will take you the longest in time it will take you 16 days at a minimum this is do every single sponsor challenge that you get given so you are a Kinetic Descender, you are an enemy descender, you are an arboreal dis descender. You will have to go through every single sponsor challenge and you'll get all of their sponsor gear. You just have to do that and that's how you get the achievement. Bring a friend is probably one of the achievements that a lot of you Xbox players have done because for some reason all you seem to do is just do multiplayer lobbies. But yeah, you have to do a node or just a level with a friend in a multiplayer session. That's it, they have to be on your friends list. Get the gang together is one of those achievements that you'll get without realizing it. You have to get one of the blue guys, uh, little crew member bonus things, the perks, uh, I call them. Um, you have to get the green ladies ones that help you improve your bike and you have to get the yellow dudes uh, trail helpness or whatever it is, where he fixes the trail up to make it a bit better. You're Still Here is uh, one that probably a lot of Xbox people have got to because they seem to just explore the menus instead of playing the game for some reason. Uh, it's literally just go to the credits, that's it. You have to just do the credits. 
what a legend is the next achievement and it is do the whole of the career plus session so from the desert to the glaciers in one entire run and this is also how you get the rainbow outfit so you don't need to ask me that anymore pull my finger will probably be one of the hardest slash longest achievements that it will take you to get this this you literally need the whoopee cushion the whoopee cushion is an extraordinary item it's one of the rarest items in the game it takes you a long time to get and that will give you the achievement you have to get the item and then you have to press on the right stick or the horn basically 200 times and you'll get that achievement Flying finish is one of those achievements and it's the last achievement on this list that a lot of people get without knowing and it would a lot of new people will get it too and you just have to cross the finish line uh, whilst bailing. So if you crash and then your body goes across the finish line then you still you will get this achievement because it still counts. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this helped you get all of the achievements in the game because it's a complete list of it. And uh, I hope you enjoyed doing this. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe. It really does help the channel out. It helps me grow. We're almost at 3,000 subscribers at the time of recording this, which is amazing. Um, please like the video because it helps the video get put out there and it gets seen by more people, which means the channel will grow even more. And comment whatever you... Uh, if you're struggling or whatever and I can give you some pointers and yeah join the discord because that's where everyone is and you can talk to everyone that's in the community and uh, join the Minecraft server because uh, everyone loves Minecraft so you may as well come and join it as well.